Well, we've all been to the grocery store before. We bought vegetables, fruits, but what happens to the ones that we don't buy? Hey there, I'm Joel Green, and welcome to Curiosity Quest Goes Green, the show that explores what you're curious about. Well, today our quest letter comes to us from Madison in Atlanta, Georgia. And Madison wrote, Dear Joel, I'm curious about what happens to all the food in the grocery store that doesn't get bought. Well, Madison, what a great question. We've all been inside grocery stores. We've all purchased food. So what happens to the stuff that we don't buy or that goes bad? Well, Madison, as you can imagine, we're gonna take a green approach to this topic. So let's begin today's Curiosity Quest Goes Green. What do they do with the food that goes bad in a grocery store? It gets processed. They put it away. They throw it away. They throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Or put it in the compost. All right, so we're in a pavilions in Southern California, and I'm joined by Kurt Smith. How you doing? Great, Joel, how are you? Great, great, so thanks for having us out here today. First of all, tell us about, uh, is it Vaughn's Pavilions, Pavilions, Vaughn's? <laughs> it's both, it's Vaughn's Pavilions and we're a division of Safeway Incorporated. So now, you've been pulling food off shelf or you've been doing something with the food that doesn't get bought for a long time, right? Since 1994. What happens to all the food that doesn't get sold? We're taking that product and instead of putting it in a landfill, we've found a home for it. We're able to take the organic products, not just organic, but anything that's an organic product, any foods, uh, vegetables, uh, different items, and we're able to return that back to our distribution center. And from there, we send it off to a company and it's all turned into compost. Now, is it, I, I see right behind us here, he looks like he's pulling out vegetables right now. Are those just bad vegetables or? Well, there's no such thing as a bad vegetable. Okay. There's, there's vegetables that are less fortunate that people don't buy. So those he's pulling out, He's going through the uh, through the product individually and finding the ones that are less desirable, and those are the ones that are going to have to be turned back into compost. How does he determine what's a less desirable vegetable versus a more desirable vegetable? A lot of experience. Um, <laughs> a lot of experience. You look if there's anything that's starting to get soft on the vegetable. If there's something on it that's that's causing it to not look as appealing, even though it might still be a decent vegetable. Uh, we're we're very spoiled in Southern California and around the country that we only want pretty good looking fruits and vegetables. So um, there are gonna be some that just don't make the grade, but they now have a second life with this program. You know, I think about it. when I go to a grocery store, if I see like, like just bananas, for instance, if I see, you know, really green, green bananas, I probably won't buy them. If I see really, really yellowish brown bananas, I probably won't buy them. There's somewhere in between that I'll buy them. I guess I'm not alone in that, is what you're saying. Not at all. And, that, and that's a fine line, getting them to that exact color that you want. So some are going to be a little bit too green, some are going to be a little bit too ripe. The perfect ones will get purchased. The ones that aren't perfect are going to come back in the compost program and become a, a commodity on the, their second life. What is compost? A post. <laughs> kind of like a lumber yard, you know, where they cut trees and make wood. I don't know. Much manure. <laughs> Something you find in the dirt. Compressed products. Garbage? Say garbage. No. Compost is basically it's a soil amendment. That it's used in place of chemical fertilizers. It can be used to spur growth. It can be used to suppress disease. So these um, what are these potatoes here? These potatoes, if 
if we don't purchase them, or if they look too bad and we're not going to purchase them, this is going to become something useful to make more potatoes? It could be potatoes, it could be grapes, it could be something else, but it will be useful. It will become a soil amendment for the production of new fruits and vegetables.